CS Aircross. Citroën C5 Aircross Engine Spec Group PSA, the French automaker has joined hands with CK Birla Group to develop and sell products in India. The group has officially announced that it will introduce the Citroën brand in the country in 2021. The first model from the French automaker will arrive in the first quarter of 2021. PSA Group plans to manufacture vehicles and powertrains in the state of Tamil Nadu and to bring state-of-the-art technology for an eco-friendly new product range. The PSA Group will launch the Citroën C5 Aircross SUV in India. It will be introduced as a CBU unit and is expected to be priced around 30 lakh rupees in India. The company will start introducing locally developed products in India from the second half of 2021. Measuring 4,500 mm in length, 1,840 mm in width, 1,670 mm in height and 2,730 mm in wheelbase length, the Citroën in 25 mm longer and 10 mm taller than Hyundai Tucson, and has a wheelbase that is 60 mm longer. It sits rather high up too, with a 230 mm ground clearance. Based on the same Group PSA EMP2 platform that underpins the DS7 SUV, the C5 Aircross it is nearly as big overall as the larger SUV. In Tur OO nationally, the C5 Aircross gets a funky, modern-looking two-tone dashboard, which is the centerpiece of the C5 Aircross cabin, replete with split aircon vents that look unique. There are plenty of features on offer, too, with the SUV, including safety kit like multiple airbags, blind spot assist, smart headlamps with an auto Cherry. Chinese auto brand, Cherry is planning to enter the Indian market in the next couple of years. It is reported that Tata Motors will help the company for a smooth entry in the highly competitive Indian auto markets. For people not in the know, Cherry entered into 50-50 joint venture with Tata-owned JLR in 2012. The Cherry JLR company produces Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles in China. In fact, Tata Motors is benchmarking its upcoming compact SUV dash codenamed Blackbird against the Cherry Tiggo 5X SUV. The reports claim that Tata could utilize the Tiggo's platform and engine technology for the SUV. Cherry has several vehicle assembly and component manufacturing facilities in mainland China, and its vehicles are assembled in around 15 other countries, primarily in factories not owned by the company that use either complete or semi-complete knockdown kits. It has two domestic grand centers and invests around 7% of its total revenues in product development. Its QQ City car, considered to be the best-known Cherry model, spawned a sub-brand in its own right the QQ6 and the Kumar two other cars produced by the company and the original QQ may now be designated the QQ3. Since the early 2000s, Cherry has received criticism for myriad alleged infringements of foreign manufacturers' intellectual property rights. Several Cherry vehicles appear to have directly copied design elements from various foreign manufacturers. Some also criticize the company's name Cherry itself, which looks reminiscent of Chevy, the shortened name for GM's Chevrolet brand. FAW Haima FAW Haima Automobile Company. Limited, the Chinese automotive manufacturer, has announced its plan to enter in the Indian automobile market. For its Indian operations, the company will collaborate with Bird Automotive, which is also an authorized partner for BMW and Mini. The company had showcased three new models, Haima 7X, Haima 8S and the Bird E1 at the 2020 Auto Expo. These models could be launched in India in the next two to three years. The H9 is powered either by a 2-liter turbocharged gasoline engine plus a 48 volts mild hybrid system with 185 kilowatts, 252 horsepower, or a 3-liter supercharged gasoline engine with 208 kilowatts, 283 horsepower. Both variants have a rear-wheel drive and a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. There are five variants of 2019 Hongqi H9, including two displacements of 2.0T and 3.0T, and one gearbox with dual-clutch options. Maximum engine power, 208.0 kW, maximum horsepower, 283 PS, maximum torque, 400.0 Nm, body length, width and height, 5137 x 1904 x 1493 mm. It's no surprise that those who want to travel in a blanket of opulence and luxury are a bit spoiled for choice. With a market that's often saturated with offerings from Mercedes-Benz, Rolls-Royce,